Hi, I'm here with Greg Chu from Keysight, and he's got a demo of an 802.11 AY system behind us that he's going to take us through. Greg, take it away. Welcome. Today what we're showing is an R&D test bed for emerging millimeter wave applications. And specifically, as an application example today, we're showing 802.11 AY. So we have some software that is generating the 802.11 AY signal. We have downloaded it to our M8195A AWG. We're using this as kind of a wideband IF signal generator. So we're coming out at 4 gigahertz, centered at 4 gigahertz, with 4 gigahertz of bandwidth. And this is being run into a VDAI up converter to up convert it to 61 gigahertz using this PSG as an LO. So coming out, we have 61 gigahertz, we have an amplifier, we have a filter, and we're transmitting over the air using this horn antenna. The signal is then being picked up with this horn antenna. It's run into the high frequency inputs of this 110 gigahertz UXA signal analyzer. And we could be looking at the spectrum from 50 to 110 gigahertz, but in this case, we want to down convert and demodulate the signal. So we're down converting the signal to an IF. It's being run into the scope and then we're digitizing the signal and post-processing post -processing it to do the DMOD. The scope, by the way, is a very high frequency scope. It goes all the way up to 63 gigahertz, uh, so it can actually digitize the millimeter wave signal directly. So coming back over here to the software, here we're showing the demodulation of the waveform. It's a 64 qam constellation. And again, this is a, it's a very clean demodulation uh, and we're centered at 61 gigahertz with four gigahertz of bandwidth, transmitting over the air with these horn antennas. Now the same basic setup can be used in different bands. So for this application, we're using a VDI converter that is a V-band converter from 50 to 75 gigahertz. But if you're doing work at different bands, uh, VDI also has converters uh, that operate in E-band, 60 to 90 gigahertz or uh, W-band, 75 to 110 gigahertz. So depending on which band you're working in, you can swap this out with different converters, and then the analyzer, of course, can operate all the way to 110 gigahertz. Craig, some people might not be familiar with the AY version of 802.11. Can you right. tell them what that is? That's a great question. So 802.11 AY is effectively an enhancement to the existing 802.11 AD specification. And one of the key features is that it uses channel bonding, so you can take the 2 gigahertz channel from 802.11 AD and to that bond another 2 gigahertz channel for a 4 gigahertz channel for very high data throughput applications. Okay. And for people want more information on this system, where do they go? Great question. So for more information, please contact Keysight Technologies. Great. Thanks. Thanks.